Hi Kindergarten, welcome back. Today, we're gonna be creating a portfolio. Could anyone raise their hand and tell us what they think a portfolio is? Awesome, so I hope someone said that a portfolio is what an artist uses to carry and store and keep their artwork safe. Today, we're gonna be inspired by Aboriginal artwork from Australia. So, what I want you to do is put on your art investigator goggles, take a close look, look all the way around this piece of art, and then follow where your eye goes. We're gonna look for 10 seconds. I just want you to look, I will count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Okay, let's call on four people to raise their hand and then tell us or show us what you see. Okay, I hope someone said that they noticed that there are dot lines and there's different types of patterns and symbols and lines and that each part of this piece of art is different. So there might be something different on each side, different colors. You name it. Today, we're gonna practice making lines with dots. So at the very top, you can see a straight horizontal line made out of dots. And then the next one down is an ocean line made out of dots. And then a zigzag made out of dots and another wavy like the hills made out of dots. When you got your big sheet of paper, it should look something like this. I already folded mine into a portfolio, but if you don't remember how, you take the corners, match them up to the other side, and give it a nice fold down the middle. Give me a thumbs up once you have that. Today we're going to be using the markers and tools like the crayons at our table to create our art. Remember, if you're using a marker, make sure you put the cap on the back so you don't lose it. This cap must go on this marker at the very end of class. I don't want to see any more dried out markers because we couldn't put the cap back on. But what you're going to do is you're just going to try out making some dots. It doesn't matter where they go. They could make a wavy line. It could make a zigzag line, maybe. Think about how you can do it, but also experiment. You're kind of an art scientist today. What kinds of lines can you make out of just dots? Before we begin though, let's add something to our portfolio. Somewhere on your paper, I prefer the bottom, you need to write your name and class code. I'm gonna write Boatfield because that is my name, and then I'm also gonna write our class code right next door. I will pause the video and give you your class code that you will write and then circle. Also give me a thumbs up to show me that you got it once you have it. Be creative with your dots. I'm not pressing hard, I'm doing spirals. I can even trace my hand with the dots. You can make small little kiss dots with the markers. You could do a little big circles, but you cannot hit the marker on the table. That will ruin the marker and it's not fair to the rest of the school that uses these markers. So make sure that you are being kind and gentle to the marker. Make sure that you are putting the cap back on once you are done. And I'm gonna show you some other things you can do. Just like the Aboriginal artwork that we looked at, you can use the markers to create different types of lines and symbols inside of your design. Be creative. Maybe you are doing some spirals. Maybe you're doing some letters, I don't know. It's totally up to you, I want you to be creative. When you have done, added your dots and then also some different designs, you can use the crayons to color. This is what we're working on today because I have a very important task for you. You're going to be in your seat the entire time. Raise your hand if you have a question, but I won't be able to travel to you because I will be giving back your artwork. 
Today, I will be giving you back some of your artwork that you can take in your portfolio home today. But you have to be working on your portfolio and you have to be working quietly so that I can give you your artwork back. The reason is, is I'm gonna call names. I'm gonna go through some of the artwork and I'll look for a name. So for instance, this one is Kathy's. So what Kathy would do is she would stop what she's doing she would hear my voice because it's quiet in the room. She'll follow the green arrows all the way around. All the way around. And then I will be at the middle table. I will give Kathy or whoever back their artwork. They'll use the green arrows all the way around. And then she will sit down, put the artwork inside of her portfolio like this so that it is safe close it, and then continue to work. That's what we're doing today. I need you to focus. I need you to use a voice volume that is appropriate for class so that I can give you back your beautiful artwork and your parents or whoever takes care of you will be so excited to see it. I hope that we have an awesome day and I'm excited to see what amazing designs you're gonna put on your portfolio.